Hello, hello, this is Datatan from VP Universe and we're here in this video series uh, tutorials for um, the DMD colorization using the new editor colorizing DMD and the new serum format. In the previous uh, videos we've covered uh, a lot of the basics of uh, colorization. Now uh, let's have a look about uh, uh, two features that, uh, that uh, colorizing DMD is bringing uh, for the uh, colorization authors and this is gradient and color rotation. So here we are on the under colorizing DMD. So um, I will uh, just display the tips that we've seen in the previous video, just to remind you about uh, the usage of the shortcuts for, for, for the key, um, shift, control, and alt, whether I'm on the active frame, whether I'm the, on the um, palette and also not to forget that the left button is used for uh, color, um, colorization of fixed colors uh, so this part and the right button for the dynamic colors that is on this part that are on this part okay so uh, i'm still on the uh, scale stiff project uh, demo that you can download there is the link in the video description um, so i will be using this uh, sequence of the bunny beast and um, I would like to have uh, the flames look a bit more, I would say, nice. Um, so what I will do is I want to apply a gradient of color between orange to yellow on this flame. So um, I will take this image as a principle and of course it will be the same elsewhere. Uh, so here, let me see, I've got some orange, I've got some yellow, but I don't have a gradient of color, so my, my first goal will be to generate a gradient of color between yellow and orange. Uh, I will initialize the tool of gradients with these, and now I would like to apply that to here. Um, so, uh, what we have now is I need to select all the flames. So, I could either try to use a magic wand with the control key and try to select everything. It might be a bit long. So, uh, I can do it with two different ways. Uh, either I try to select everything but what I'd like to, uh, which might be a bit quicker, sorry, using the control key uh, for selection. So, it might be a bit quicker to do that. Uh, but I can also use a pro tips and this is to use the magic one with the alt button uh, and control for selection so alt plus control will select all the pixels that are exactly of the same color and I will add this one that was forgotten when I first uh, colored the project and this one also yeah here we are I've got all the flames so all the flames here, uh, I can try now that everything is selected, and this is the first step to apply a gradient. First, I need to select what I want to, so I've selected everything. Now I can use the gradient tools, uh, either with the linear tool, that is a basic one, to, to have a linear gradient uh, from one color to the other, and I can just choose the orientation that I want for the uh, for the uh, for the gradient so the more i go the more gradients there will be um, if i go very small then the gradient will be very small so i can apply i can try and just see what is best for me okay so this is how i would apply the uh, the gradient i can also use a circle tool to have a circular gradient bigger or smaller depending again on the same thing what i'd like to uh, so i will keep using the linear ones if i'm not happy i can uh, always hit ctrl z uh, ctrl y to redo um, i've made so many tries that it won't be uh, very interesting to go forward uh, so i will switch to another to another frame because I will explain why I'm not so happy with the colors here. So let's take the next one. So uh, I want to apply exactly the same. I don't have the palette that is colorized. So uh, rather than just redoing it, I will copy paste the palette from one frame to the other as we learn to do it. And now I've got the gradient that is ready. So magic wand, control to select, alt to select all pixels in the same color. And I will select everything but the very uh, darkest yellow because perhaps 
makes the, the, the fire a bit more vibrant like, like this. So let's try and see how things are done. So yeah, see perhaps like that would be something interesting. So have a look below just to see. No, nope. better to have this like that with the more gradients here. See, it starts to look a bit better with orange here. Yeah, I think it's best like that. It's better like that. So here it looks a bit simple. Here it looks a bit more sophisticated. And I think it's better like that. Um, so now I've got the orange fire that is very hot coming out of the mouth of the dragon. And um, I will... Uh, let's switch to this one because I won't be doing everything for you. And let's have a look about this sequence. Here I can imagine uh, really well in my head to have the orange here and with the fire that is just moving around, swapping from one color to the other. And this is what we'll be doing with the color rotation tool. So for this uh, one, again, I need the gradient of color. So let's copy paste everything from for all this sequence from this one. Yeah. Now I could rec replicate the palette. Now I've got the gradient of color. I will again select the magic wand in order to control plus as select all the colors that I interested in. Uh, okay. And I will apply the gradient for that. So this way, no, I want the orange to be in the bottom. Perhaps, yeah, yeah. This looks great to me, uh, looks quite okay. I've got orange here. I will use a, a feature of the serum format that is color rotation. So color rotation is for a frame like this one, a fixed frame like this one. Uh, you can add a rotation of color. So for this, I will use the color rotation button that is just right here. So I hit the button. I click here uh, like I, I would like to to set a, a set of colors. So I'm clicking here. It asks me what colors I want to. So I will hit the shift button in order to select all the colors that I am interested in. So sorry, this is, let's put that here. So color rotation here. I select all the colors with the shift button. And now I've got the gradient of color that is here. And you can see that automatically it will display a rotation of color. So I'm not so happy with the rendering. I see the line between the, between the two colors. So what I, what I propose is to add another gradient. Again, I put yellow again here. And now I will initialize a new gradient between these colors. And what I will do is a color rotation that goes from yellow through orange to yellow. Up here with the left button. And now let's see and see. To me, it looks a little more, uh, a, a lot nicer just to have, just having my fire that is, uh, that is, uh, that is living and of course uh, I could improve that having different uh, application of the gradients at two different stages in order to uh, to have a, a more lively uh, fire that's it guys this is uh, this was the demonstration of the uh, gradient tools here and the color rotation tools I hope that you enjoy and I'm look forward to see what you can do uh, with the uh, usage of these two features uh, we have Kraken on the discord channel that is a specialist I guess of uh, gradients he found some very 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 nice way to use this tool so I recommend that you join the discord and you will see uh, what he